Hello everybody, my name is Archer and welcome back to Donk Zone. On today's episode we're checking out a game called uh, Build the Sun. It just starts like this. So this is a jam version of this. Um, it's got like a Steam page eventually. So, where it's eventually going to be a thing. But I figured we'd check this out because it looked kind of popular. Also, one note on the page is that you have to hold this down all the way or else things break. Is that good? Okay. Oh! So... How does this work exactly? Okay. Farming. I need things. Can I... Did it break? Did I fuck up already? My... It broke. Oh. Okay. Um, I can do this, and let me get a farmer man. Oh. Okay, farmer can do something. Yeah, okay, I think it broke. Hold on. You're back. back. Uh, I can't do anything with the fire, but I think it was just a really shitty spot that I had, where yeah, we need like firewood and whatever, and we didn't have any nearby, so. That's fine. Come on. There we go. Then I need this tree. Okay, the idea for this is sound. You're basically just managing... Managing your goobers properly. They kind of just come running from everywhere, so I wonder what the limit is necessarily on your goobers. Oh, that needs wood? Hmm. Let's get some wood goobers. Okay, what does this do? Oh! Is that like a... Uh, something. That, that definitely, in fact, did do something. Kind of not a fan of having to hold click on these things, but at the same time, it's not that bad. It's just more... feels a little tactilely odd, if that makes sense. That's a house. What is this? Okay, we have a stone. So we need, like, I think one more wood, right? Yeah, we need one more wood. I like these little goobers, though. These little little orb friends. They're kind of... They're all right. They're very expressive, despite being little, little orb things that just do little circles. Ooh! Torchman. Ah! And Torchman's how we potentially find... Another campfire, right? Like, that's not a campfire. Uh, at least that's what I'm thinking. Is there another campfire around? There's food. There's that. Don't really see a campfire anywhere. Now, I know this is a god game, but I have no idea how I'm actually supposed to manage these little goobs. Oh. That's like stone and food, I think, for like a mill. At least I think that's the case. Okay, so he's like a scout man. We'll just kind of passively, I guess, get wood. Okay. Oh, can I just like click and they'll go to it? No. You have to hold it to send them to it. Get some wood. Um, wood guys go over here. Let's see what this is. That's another house. It's just... I guess let's just get these and get houses. Like... I assume that's like population cap? At least I'm assuming it is. There you go. Does that give us more goobs? Eat food. There we go. 
go. They kind of just chill near the food thing, so I, I figured they'd actually, like, you know, do something, but maybe I'm just wasting my, my goobers on food. Now oh, there's another one of those. Ah, there's a campfire. Ah! So, these ones need more wood. Well... No, I was gonna say if a guy will come over here from the other... from the other zone, but... Oh yeah, maybe they will! Can I get a goober? Can I get a goober to come over? Oh, there, 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 there's a goober, come on! One more! Yep, come here! There we go. And then you can feed the fire. Nice. So, back at main settlement. Um, guess we might as well get this stone. Turn all our goobers into, like, resource goobers, and I guess they'll come over as we need them. That's another stone. Oh! But, uh, the wood zone for, like, a house. We might as well build that. I do like how they move. They're like little tripod things that just kind of like wiggle around. I dig that. House? Oh, no, that's a pickaxe. That is a pickaxe. Okay, they made a pickaxe. They've discovered how pickaxes work. Let's just get some, some more wood over here. Still no idea what food is used for, but... We need a few more wood boys, so... We'll obliterate this pile of wood first, because it's convenient. I assume there's no fail state, at least. As far as I can tell, there isn't a fail state. Come on, you're right there. Come on. How many wood goobers do we have? What about the other wood goober? He get obliterated. No, he's right there. You need to come over here. Kill the street. Anytime. I know there's one coming. There we go. Then we can grow the fire. Okay. Nice. And now we have another scout goober that we can send out on escapades. Uh, well, I mean, we saw that mill earlier. We might want to go investigate that. Because it feels like... There isn't necessarily a lot out here for us to be concerned with, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like the mill is, so far, the biggest thing for us to be concerned with. And then we need... What do we need to grow the fire? We need... Mystery blorbs. Ah, it's stone and wood. Okay, we have enough stone. We just need wood. Where's that mill? It was, like, right here. At least I thought it was right here. There it is. What is that? That's four stone, three wood? So if I just, like... Can I get some goobers over here? Yeah, I, I think it'd be a lot better if you could just designate goobers to get a thing. Instead of having to hold it. Like, you, you mark something for uh, goobination. Like, you can hold it, but just, like, click it, and then it's highlighted, and they'll start running towards it. You know what I mean? Get a little bit more wood. Almost accidentally destroying one of those goobers. That's, uh... Do we have enough for this yet? Missing, like, one wood. Okay. Go. Now we need to finish whatever this is, and... Ah! It's like a little mill. Like a little granary. Okay. Can we get some... Let's... Let's... Let's get more wood. I wonder how you deal with the spots that are far away from your civilization like this. And like, I don't know if Torch Friend is mostly meant for that, or if Torch Friend's mostly meant for scouting. 
But there doesn't seem to be any negative to doing this, so let's get this. And I can't build a campfire, right? Need more wood. Gonna get a goober. There we go. Like, this would be nice if we could get a campfire over here. Need some goobers, please. Thank you, goobers. And then let's get this house done. Guess we'll get try and get one of these spots done. Okay. And that is a guy. He, he's doing it. Okay. Yeah, I don't necessarily... I can't necessarily tell exactly if I'm playing this correctly or not, but I am having fun. It is comfy. Let's go try and uh, find another place to... Ooh. Perfect. Okay, so we need uh, goobers over here, please. Aging private goobs, we need you over here. Over. I need you to cut this tree down by um, fusing with it, I guess. I assume that's what they do. I do like how they hop in, they just whoop as like a requirement, and then there you go, but. Need to expand the radius on this one. They like the light, and I don't blame them. What is this? That's a berry bush. Uh, there's stone over there. Need more stone, probably. Okay. Need more houses. That's what we need. What are these? These are just stones. Um, don't know what those are. Any more spots for houses? Doesn't look like it. Might as well use our, our massive area to get wood and clear resources over here. Come on, I can see that one game. So I assume you have to see them to be able to tell them to interact with it. That's one of the mechanics, but like, I can see that one. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. One more, come on. One more piece of wood. Come on. There we go. So now we can go... Oh, if we get some stone, we can expand that. I was gonna expand this one, because it's cheaper, but... Now let's get this one done first. There we go. Now we have Torch Friend, so we can do things. Um, How much do we need for this? Can I get a sit rep on uh, Goobers? We need one stone and five wood. Hmm. I feel like our Goobers are running low. No, they're just all chilling over there, okay. We need again? One stone, five wood? Yeah. I know we saw a stone around here somewhere. Or this way, maybe? There it is. Okay. Five wood. Come on, goobers, we need wood. What do you, what do you even call these things? I, they're almost like the... The Howl's... Is it Howl's Moving Castle? No, the, uh... I think the movie, but the, the little soot goobers. They're almost kind of like that. No, do we have none available? Hmm. We have one right there! Get over here! There we go. What goober, I need you to help with this. Thank you. And then I need one more. This one's gonna take a second. Oh no! Let's see if we can get a little bit more. Go over this way. Nice. Okay, now let's do this. It is satisfying watching them all jump in like this. 
Okay, and that gives us... Ooh, big fire. Ooh, we're a big fire now. Now we just need wood. Go make Ubers. So I guess you're encouraged to start civilizations and, like, build off those civilizations. So we're basically encouraged to come down here. Yeah, this is where all these goobs are, are gathering. And kind of just... We need more wood, goobs. This is the wood settlement. Well, it's not going to be the wood settlement if I keep burning through all the goobers here, but... one. I also want to clear this last tree. Okay. I, I kind of like this. It's very comfy. I think it's just user feedback that's a little weird with it in terms of like clicking and holding on things, you know? But other than that, it feels pretty straightforward. I don't think there's a failure condition aside from just figuring, oh, now we got two fire goops. Oh. Okay. Two fire goobs. Come on, fire goobs, we need to find uh, another spot. We will not be lonely as long as you are together for now. Nothing up there. I don't know how big this area is because of the... Oh, this one's... Bush, very bush. Campfire, campfire... Campfire! Campfire! Okay, there goes one. Nice. Oh! Oh, we have a pickaxe. Pickaxe guy, come here. We need this. Actually, yo, there's a lot of pickaxe things. Hold on. Let's see if we can get another campfire, actually. I know I was calling him over here, but I want to see if we can get a little campfire on the way. Maybe, like, down here. There's another mill. Campfire, campfire, campfire. Doesn't look like it. wood for what? I see the woods right there. Come on. Just get in. I can see you right there. Just, just go. Look. Look. Come here. Come here. Just go. There we go. Oh, we're getting stuck on the campfire. There's another pickaxe. Okay. Um. Oh, that can be a house. Perfect. I see it. Okay. Getting a little annoyed with the goobers pathing, but that's just kind of how it is with god games. Need this house. Come on. More goober availability. Then... We have a few picks. How's the other settlements doing? Use my... Can I not use my arrow keys? I thought I could use my arrow keys earlier to navigate, but I guess it was, it's just mouse. How's over here doing? There are no goobs over here. I, oh, there's like one goob. Okay, here. Big axe goob, can you come here? I want to I see what this is. I hope this is something useful. There he is. I... Okay. What about this one? We have another pickaxe. We might as well use it on these. I assume these are precious resources. So... That's gold. Need three wood. Come on, normal goobs. Come on, normal goobs. Come on, normal goobs. Come on! I kind of wish I had a goob readout somewhere. Or like a mini-map of some kind where I could at least see the location of the goobs. Oh, there we go. You build this. This is important. Whoosh. There we go. Need some more goobs over here for housing. Oops. Here we go. Build this house. I feel like we're running out of goops. I don't know why. 
ones, just five wood. Oh, there's a, no, they're all up here. Okay, so do they like passively regen from the houses? Am I doing something right there or is that just the, like what's happening there? Also, I like how it's kind of bright on its own over there. Huh. I guess the houses do kind of produce light. What about this one? This one needs stone. Let's just... What goobs. What goobs. Stone goobs. Or that's actually, it's a pick. I mean, we're gonna need a pick anyway, but... Oh no, it's a house. Thought it was a pick. I know there's a horde of goobs down there. Come on. How much do we need for this? Yeah, like a readout would be nice, just so you don't have to guess, like, let's say a goop comes running from 50 million years away, you know? Let's get some stone. Get some stone goobs. At least when they know they're needed, they come running. That's at least nice. Need one more stone. Where? I thought I saw a stone up here. There it is. Stone right here. Oh, there's another campfire right there. That'd actually be perfect. Get this stone, goops. Then you go here. Perfect. We're getting kind of a decent environment. Kind of. Slowly but surely, it's getting brighter. I know we need a little bit more wood. Need, like, three more wood. So functionally, you're not really, you don't have like a, at least as far as I can tell, you don't have a, a loose condition. It's mostly just comfy, like, light growing, which that's fine, but I guess I was under the impression that if there's more of a management aspect to this that I'm not doing, but. Whoosh, there we go. Look at that, goobs. Look at that. We've done a lot. It's already been 23 minutes. <laughs> Props to the dev. It's been 23 minutes, and I feel like I've sunk five into this. It's a very comfy little game. Again, I, my only technical issue is just, like, it's kind of annoying having to hold click on things instead of just boop, and then it, like, highlights it. Or maybe, like, a setting work priorities type of thing. And I get if you want it to be a bit more personable, uh, personable by holding it, but uh, some of these runs just make it you know, a little long for them to come over and then, ah, uh, there's one. And there's two. Point in case. I'm gonna get another here. And yeah, I know I'm calling them to the edge of the map, but it's, it's whatever. No, don't, don't, no, don't drop the wood. Why would you drop the wood? Why would you drop the wood while I'm holding the wood? Don't, don't do that. Okay, if that's what the case, okay, make it so you can only highlight one thing at a time if you're doing the hold. Because that wood guy just wandered into my click and then just dropped his wood. He just dropped it. He's like, I'm done with it. That's... That's not good. That that could be very annoying with the run times. Come on. Just go. I'm afraid to hold now because, yeah, you saw him shaking. Like, they're going to break the... Uh... Like, I guess you can tell them to drop things if you need it, but it's like... Why would I... Why would I do that? Let's get a farm goop. And then I guess more of these. Yep. Crops. Don't know if these are necessarily helping us that much or not, but I feel like this is kind of a the perfect area for crop dimension some wood. You guys can go get it. No, guess not. Um, can you do that? No. I kind of wish you could just direct them all at once. Like, you could tell horde move here, horde move there, just so you can, like, keep them in one location. I don't know. That's gonna be a house. Yeah. 
How's this one doing? Oh, this one's doing nice. Look at that. You guys need to get some wood. Maybe they have a limit on how far they'll go. Come on, what, what's happening here? I feel like there's some pathing issues with them. Like, they need to be able to, like, no-clip through things if they're pathing from far enough. Oh, I saw that. Ah, uh, there we go. Come on. I really don't like that they're potentially deleting stuff because I'm holding the button down. But I need to hold the button down. Okay, this one needs three stone. Five wood. I think we already have two stone. Come on. Here we go. So what's the point of farmers if they uh if the goobs don't need anything to live? Do we have enough yet? We're missing one wood, and I know we have another stone in the middle of nowhere. I saw him earlier. Yeah, there he is. One stone in the middle of nowhere. So we need another stone, and we need another wood. Okay. So... Get that stone. Get that wood. There we go. Now get this. Okay! Okay. So yeah, I, I think I've seen enough. I'm gonna keep playing this, but I think first impressions, it definitely needs, I think, a little bit more feedback on what farmers do or what exactly things do. Like, I understand that, the, oh, there's a resource here I need. I have to do something with it, but more like, I haven't encountered a use for berries or, I mean, huts seem to make them make multiple, like, the more of them show up, but... Farmers don't really seem to do anything. I don't know. Maybe it is tied to population because of this, but I just don't know. You know what I mean? I, I can't necessarily tell because I disappear looking at another settlement and then a bunch of goobs have showed up. So I'm just kind of assuming that's the case. It could be wrong. There's that other settlement. And again, again, some form of like mini map or yes. Okay. So it seems like they slowly multiply. But... Maybe some form of mini-map or some way to just navigate around, or just let me zoom the camera out a little bit more, please, as the settlements go on. Things like that that are little small things. Also, hit detection with the holding the button. Maybe just make it not even holding the button, just click to mark. And then your goobs would go over there. Maybe a way to control the goobs by, like, holding right-click, and then you can order them to move to a specific location. I don't know, things like that, you know? But anyway, my name is Arco. Like the video if you like it, dislike it. If you don't, check down below for the game, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, stay safe, and I hope you guys are staying all warm near a comfy fire. It is getting uh, cold, so go warm up. Goodbye.